What's up, Mavericks? It's Erica Seppala here, editor and writer over here at Merchant Maverick. And today we're talking about Square and how to set up your loyalty program. So if you want to encourage your customers to spend more money with your business or even attract new customers, you'll want to sign up for a loyalty program. The best part is, like most things Square, it's really easy to get started. So let's get into it by starting on the main Square dashboard. So you can go to the top left into the search bar and type in loyalty, or you can scroll down to customers, loyalty, and overview. So I do want to note that these steps apply for any business that has not yet subscribed to Square Loyalty. If you've already signed up for it, your steps may look a dip, little bit different, but this is for brand new customers that haven't yet subscribed. So the first screen that we're going to see is that it just kind of has some metrics, tells you about Square Loyalty, and it lets you know that it's free for 30 days and you can cancel any time. Unfortunately, unlike many of Square's products, the loyalty program is not free. We'll go over the pricing of that in just a minute because Square, fortunately, is very transparent about pricing. But if we decide we want to move forward, we're going to go to the top right corner and we're going to click Get Started. So the first step is that we are going to customize our program. So basically, we're going to choose if our customers earn points, if they earn stars, if they earn something completely different. If you own a coffee shop, it could be coffee mugs or things like that, anything that you want to market your business with. But we're going to keep it simple. We're going to go with points, top right corner, click Next. The next step is to select your program type. Now you can see that Square suggests the amount spent, which is a very basic loyalty program. So it's set right now that every time customers spend a dollar, they earn a point. You can go in here and you can change these fields to whatever you want. Every time they spend $10, they earn a point. Every time they spend $50, they earn 20 points. You just click on here and you just change this to whatever you want. You can also go to this third field, which is expiration, click the drop down. Right now it's set that the points never expire, or you can set that they expire three months up to 24 months. So there are a few other types of loyalty programs on here. We have visit based. So basically with this, this would be if a customer visits your business, makes a purchase, no minimum amount, they will earn points. Again, you can go in here, you can change the number of points they earn per visit. You can set a minimum purchase, but as you can see, Square suggests that it's zero dollars, and then you can set the expiration date. And so then next we have item based. So if a customer purchases a specific item, they can earn points just click on this item field and this will pull up all of your products listed in your items list and make sure that's set up. You would select the item, enter the number of points that they would earn with that purchase. You can click right here and you can add another item if you wish and then set the expiration date. And then the next program is category based. So if customers purchase from a specific category in your business, they will earn points. So for example, if you work in a boutique, if they purchase jewelry or accessories, you could set those categories here. Again, before you do all this, you need to make sure your categories are set up and you can change the number of points that they earn. You can add multiple categories if you wish and you can set the expiration date. But we're gonna go with Square Suggestion for amount spent and we're gonna keep it that every time customers spend $1, they earn a point and points never expire. Once you have your program type set up, go to the top right corner, click next, and we're going to move to step three. This is where you're going to set up your rewards. And as you can see, you can create up to 15 rewards that your customers can earn. Square already has a reward set up that's 10% off your entire sale, up to $100 off when a customer redeems 50 points. So we can click on this and there's several different options here. So if you click on reward type, you can see that they can get a discount on entire sale. We have it set at 10%, but you could also do a dollar amount. So if they redeemed, let's say 50 points, which it's set to, they would get $5 off their entire next purchase. 
You can also select to get a discount on item in specific categories and set the categories there. You can also get discount on specific items. And again, this is going to pull from your items list or you can give them a free item. So for example, if you own a coffee shop, if they earn 50 points, they can redeem it for a free small coffee. We'll just do discount on entire sale. We'll leave it at $5 once they earn 50 points. So it breaks it down that customers will need to spend at least $50 to earn this $5 discount. The next field is a reward display. So this reward name is just going to show up in checkout on your customers' receipts and things like that. And it's just how Square sets it up is that it just basically outlines what the customer is going to get. $5 off entire sale. You can click in that field. You can go in and change that to whatever you want. I recommend leaving it the same or pretty much the same just so the customers know exactly what they're going to get with their points. Also have the option here to click and create another reward. And again, you can create up to 15 different rewards. Once you have all of your rewards set up, you're going to go to the top right again and you're going to click Next. Now at this point, this last step is to review and subscribe. Square reminds us that it's free for the first 30 days and you can cancel anytime. So this is a great way to really test out the loyalty program before investing. So we're going to scroll down. And this breaks down the pricing. So after the first 30 days, Square has determined that I have one location selected. I get two estimated monthly loyalty visits. And based on that, the one location and the number of visits, my monthly fee after the first 30 days is going to be $45. So if you go and you click right here underneath where it says how Square loyalty pricing works, you're going to see that Square gives us a breakdown. So up to 500 loyalty visits, you're going to pay $45 a month per location, up to $1,500. $75, up to 10,000 loyalty visits, $105 per month per, per location, and over 10,000 loyalty visits, you need to contact Square for a custom quote. So once we've determined that we've selected the locations and we're okay with the pricing, we can scroll down and this just breaks down everything we selected in the previous steps. If everything looks good, we don't have to do anything. If we need to make some changes, we can just click on these edit buttons and go back in and edit. So if we think that all of this looks good, we're ready to move forward with our free 30 day trial. We're going to go to this top right corner and we're going to click finish. And from here, it's going to give you the option to put in your card so you can subscribe to the Square Loyalty Program. You would put in your card information, you would subscribe. Again, you would get the first 30 days free. If you cancel before that time, you're not charged anything. If you do decide that you like it, just keep going forward with it and you'll get charged that rate that Square quoted you. That's it for setting up your loyalty program. As you can see, Square is always very transparent. Everything is really easy, explained really well, so it's not hard. doesn't take a lot of time. The most time you're probably going to spend is outside of Square, just planning out your loyalty program so that you can provide great rewards to your customers without hurting your business. So that's it. Good luck with your loyalty program. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. We love talking about Square and helping you get the most out of the software. Thanks for watching Mavericks.